So I want to do a quick video on replastering a pool. Uh, my pool here is 14, going on 15 years old, and the plaster made it all the way to, for 15 years. I do my own chemicals, and everybody tells me, well I say everybody, the people at the pool supply place tell me that I've obviously done my chemicals well because my plaster lasted as long as it did. It was just a plain white, you know, cheapest you can get back back in the day. That was about all you could get. And uh, so anyhow, I had some pool companies come out and uh, price the replaster job. And the quotes I was getting was anywhere from 5000 was the cheapest up to 7500 and the one common question I asked all the pool companies was okay uh, when you come out to do this are you going to be with the people actually doing the plastering and they said no we, we're going to send a crew so I figured what they were doing was hiring subcontractors to come out and do the plaster job so so what I did was bypass the uh, the pool builders and was able to locate an actual subcontractor um, and he was a Hispanic it was him and four other guys and uh, one of them spoke English I had him come out to the house and they looked at it and as you can see they put new uh, diamond pattern tiles in and I went with a uh, they call it an Estes this is the uh, sample that he gave me and so it's got little granulars in it which hide stains uh, and adds color to the pool easier to keep up with um, the only thing I don't like is it's a little bit textured and and I found in the pool it's not as smooth as the white was so you know as your skin gets soft from being in the water it can uh, it can kind of uh, get a little sensitive but other than that it's as you can see it turned out great uh, they came out and uh, chiseled away the old plaster all around the tiling uh, knocked a couple holes in the bottom of the pool because uh, apparently when you pull all the water out of the pool it has a tendency to want to float up so they have to knock the holes in the bottom so that doesn't happen and of course they fill it in uh, but anyhow start to finish it was all done within 48 hours they came out knocked it out they put some kind of a primer down they let it dry overnight came in the next morning dropped in the plaster and I did the startup myself uh, it really wasn't that big a deal you have to brush it you know they recommend twice a day I actually did it four or five times a day until I kept doing it until the dust uh, disappeared you know I put in a couple of gallons of muriatic acid which uh, as you're sweeping the muriatic acid dissolves that dust I'm assuming that's how it works but anyhow it's been three weeks now I've got my pool equipment up and running the, uh, the uh, chemicals are perfectly balanced and uh, and I think it turned out great oh I also put in a LED uh, I had the old halogen uh, light um, and uh, yeah, I don't know if it'll pick it up in the daytime but uh, no it won't but it does little built-in uh, light shows and it's so much more brilliant at night it'll literally light up my whole back of my house and switches colors and all that good stuff and uh, that was pretty easy to to install um, so I guess uh, the bottom line is by going to the subcontractors themselves I was able to get it done for thirty four hundred dollars and that's it which I thought was a heck of a deal and uh, so it was half I figured at half if something happens and uh, you know a defect or or whatever and they don't aren't able to fix it well I can have it replastered again and still spend less money than some of these pool builders were 
we're wanting. So anyhow, I hope it helps. Uh, I actually found this uh, subcontractor on Facebook. Uh, go to these community garage sale uh, pages and that's how I found him so if you want to save some money bypass the pool builder go straight to the subcontractor and boom hope it helps